What's up, guys? Welcome. Uh, I was about to say Toku Tuesday nights. Technically, te Toku Thursday night, except for we're not watching Toku tonight. Um, I am Hakilis. Welcome tonight. Should be fun. We're checking out the Discord. We're gonna be looking at your guys' collections, and then maybe later, if we have some time, um, I want to stream a a game called Spellbreak because it is a battle royale, and it is the first battle royale that I've ever won in. I played one match earlier and I won. So I'm like, whoa, this game's amazing. What's up, Hooked on Henshin? How's it going? It is a clean intro, thank you. It took me a very long time uh, to get that all, all situated and figured out. Um, let me close this stuff real quick to make sure. Uh, there we go. Yeah, but since Tuesday, Tuesday stream, to Toku Tuesday nights. If you guys don't know, we watch Kira Major and Common Rider Saber now. I was about to say zero one. Common Rider Saber here Tuesday nights, seven p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Same exact time. Um, and since then, we've had some people follow. Thank you, Unsaddled Ash, Sir Solar Storm, and Hooked on Henshins, who's in the chat right now. Shout out to you. Loving the Discord. Hey, I uh, just started the Discord. Oh, finally. It finally updated and said I was streaming. Cool. Um, I'm glad you like it. It's still a little rough. I got to figure out what we're going to do with it, really. Um, but I'm liking this. I'm, I, think I, I think I like using it as something for you guys to submit stuff, and then we show it off and talk about it and do whatever. Ooh, sorry. Do whatever on stream with it. What's up, Jay-Z? How's it going? Power Rider book. <laughs> F in the chat for zero one. Zero one. You will be missed. Uh, I had to run out this weekend and get add this to my collection because uh, Fua is the main writer of Common Rider Zero One. I don't care what anyone says. He's the he's my favorite character in that show. Um, Saber so far, I don't know what it is about about secondary riders in blue, but I'm really liking Blades because that fool rode a mini lion into a small bookshop, and I enjoyed it. And I hope he continues to be super awkward, uh, like Chase. You're editing stuff tonight? What are you editing? I try, I've tried so many times to edit on stream. I tried to edit, so last night, I don't know if you saw the Ultraman video, I'm totally missing plugging stuff, youtube.com slash Hakili's. I reviewed uh, The Rise of Ultraman today. Yeah, today, because I recorded it at like 1 a.m. And I tried to go live on Twitch and edit it on Twitch. Uh, but my computer's way too slow. So <laughs> that was one of the things. You think Blades is an alien? He, he's definitely not from where they're from, but he's also not from Wonder World because he freaked out when they went there. It's Vinny main voicing over the Saber Toy commercial. I love... I, I got the, my Saber Toys coming in soon, too. My, uh... Monday, Monday. So by the next Toku Tuesday night, I will have it. I will be playing with it on stream uh, to annoy everyone. <laughs> so I, I can, I can't edit on stream, but I can uh, graphic design on stream because you watch me and you help me out. So thank you, Jared. <laughs> Dude, I hope Vulcan gets. I don't, I don't know if I hope Vulcan gets a movie exclusive form, or I hope Vulcan uses. Um, uh, his his two headed wolf. I forgot what it's called. I hope he uses that in the movie more because that was dope. But also, did they not imply at the end that Vulcan is no longer a able to transform as a writer? I don't know. Orthros, yeah. Or Orothos or Orthros, yeah. I think it's Orthros. Uh, what's up, Sir Solar Storm? Um, yeah, I, I, speaking of, when I went to the shop to pick this up, there's a place in uh, Los Angeles called, or right outside of Los Angeles, right outside of Los Angeles called Frankensons. And what it basically is, is a mini convention, sort of. It's open every Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. And, uh, and it's basically like the shops at a convention all squished together as one and they do signings every now and then um but that's all it is it's a big gigantic show floor and then a tons of little shops so uh there's a toku guy there uh one toku shop there some places sell fig arts sometimes there's none last time i was looking for the vulcan fig art um but he was selling this and he was selling this and he also had um rampage gatling because that's what i wanted 
with that. And then I realized, oh, if I buy that and Rampage Gatlin, that's going to run me about $200. So with Saber, I've decided and tricked my fiance into buying the main driver now. So that way, when the power up comes six months down the road, uh, I can sell her a lot easy on like, hey, this power up's only $80 instead of, hey, we have to buy the driver and the power up because <laughs> it'll run us $200. Sure, let's go for it. She's yelling that I didn't trick her. The, the jingle for Saber is long. I can't wait to see it in the real world, if that makes sense, like applied. Um, because the three to y'all over it is cool for a couple episodes, but I can't wait to see like the quick changes with it. Yua needs a final form for sure. I don't know. I like where she ended up, honestly, as like the captain of Ames. I kind of hope she gets like a sweet SWAT team kind of final form, because I think that would be dope. <laughs> A black Thouser driver would be insane too. Vulcan just got two heads, and you want him to get three heads? Who would be the third? Who would be the third head? Because I guess technically the the heads are him and Naki. Time to come with MI. So like, I feel super in LA. I feel super uh, spoiled because we have. A couple togu places we have frank and sons which is it's comic books it's anime it's trading cards and it's got that one to toku guy in the corner super cool like him but we also have this place called anime jungle la which is in a small shopping mall in a uh, little tokyo and it has legitimately four storefronts one of them is for cosplay one of them is for trading cards one of them is for anime and the other one is all completely toku kaiju gunpla all that stuff and i like i cannot go to little tokyo without like i spend i plan trips to little tokyo days worth just to go to anime jungle you guys can check them out i think it's animejungle.net online uh they do shipping and everything throughout the u.s but their storefront is insanely cool and it was like the first thing i go to every time we go down there <laughs> Got my zero two driver unit after three months stuck in China. That's insane. Did you get the the red zero one driver? The the dude the Toku dude that I went to this weekend had the red zero one driver, the China exclusive, and I didn't want to ask him how much it was because I've legitimately seen that thing going for like fifteen thousand yen. Uh, other places. Then of zero one Thouser had a black Thouser driver. Oh really? I didn't even notice that. Thouser getting a new potential upgrade. A black Thouser driver would be dope. I like Thouser's suit. And it's like Brie hates it because she hates Thouser as a whole. But like I think Thouser has one of the best looking suits in the show. That show excelled at suit design, and I'll give him that much. Um there's little things. <laughs> she she doesn't like Zero Two. I don't know if you can hear in the background. There's little things like um like I really think Vulcan and Yua were supposed to be more intertwined because if you look at their original suits they're both half like they're half of a suit and the rest of it's white um and it fills in vulcans at least fills in later on but it just looks like they were meant more to not merge but i don't know come together somehow yeah for sure thousands if you uh i have a video on the youtube where i talk about it but i truly believe that guy was meant to be arc one and they changed it because of um, the way the world is right now. I don't think they wanted a good versus evil story. I think they wanted to end up with a more empathetic, like, hey, coming, compromising, coming to terms, seeing each other's eyes type story. I think that's where Thouser's uh, story arc went. Yeah, 15,000 yen is insane. And like I said, like I, the, the Toku guy here, prices are kind of a little high um but it's okay because you don't have to pay for shipping or anything like it's already here i get it that day um like for this i paid like 92 dollars and some places i've seen it 80 some places i've seen it 105 so like i was willing to pay 92 and then there's other things that he oh i got this but when i got this i got this a few months ago uh but i got it for like 60 dollars <laughs> and i just saw i like drive is my favorite you guys know so i saw it and i was like i need this because i love drive um and I paid $60 through him, and then I have instantly saw it online after that for like $35. Yeah, 
Yeah, I definitely think they were gonna merge. <laughs> Not like that, but they should have merged. Me liking Fua because of his backstory. Fua got the most backstory, the most out of anything. Like, Aruto felt bare in terms of backstory. Like, why is Aruto's dad a human gear? Why is Aruto's dad a human gear? We still have no idea. We just know he was a human gear. No explanation at all. It does not happen throughout the entire series with any other character. Nobody else has one human gear in their family that they just consider part of their family, except for Aruto. So I wish Fua's, uh, story would have like i wish they would have taken some of Fu's story and give it a little bit to aruto um but yeah that's what they did what they had to do yes i also thought guy would be turned into arc preferably against his well after trying to prove he's changed so tragic that would have been cool if like i've seen a lot of theories that were like they were like oh he was supposed to steal the power um i liked i liked him wanting to be good but i just don't think the rest was there like he did he did terrible things and everyone was just like hey you're cool now dude and like yeah sure there was some like you have to repent for your sins and saying sorry won't help but in the end they were all pretty okay with him and he definitely just turned into like research and development guy for uh for zaya by the end where he's just like had his little zaya spec walked around with his ipad and was like well this is the uh, studies that we've been doing maybe sorio adopted aruto I don't think so because in the movie, in Rewa First Generation, like Sorio's there and the the grandpa's there, so the grandpa definitely made him. The red heating driver is dope. I I like the look of it. Not more than the. It's just it's just so different that I'm like whoa. Be poetic for him to be taken over by malice that he created in the first place. Yeah, and they could have drawn like. Like there's, I want, I cannot wait, and I know it's not gonna happen, but I want the behind the scenes story of Zero One, because it's such a fascinating season in terms of the outside uh, circumstances that affected it. Kira Major, not so much. I think Kira Major has so much runway that it could could have changed overnight and nobody would have noticed. Um, but Zero One, we were, like we were just forced into that last third or fourth of the show that and i think they changed so much and it shows in like like you said guys story just kind of falling by the wayside fua's family just being like well they're a family and uh now he's now he's now he's okay with it um and then the uh the news i president just kind of walking in and being like i control all this stuff now so y'all y'all listen to me um i think there's so much story that not even just left it just changed completely that I would love to know the behind the scenes, even though that doesn't really happen with, you don't really know that stuff for Toei shows. If not soon, like far in the future, um, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. The theory where Aruto's parents died and his grandfather created Soruto, I think that's definitely something that happened. I just wanted to see that. I wanted to know that. And after, after Rewa Generation, or Rewa First Generation, the movie, I would have definitely been okay with just an entire V Cinema, an entire side story, an entire something of Sorio's story. Because, like, one, he looks cool as hell. <laughs> that dude's got style. Like, the leather jacket it looks so dope. Um, but I think there's a lot of ground there that you could have covered that they just decided to, to be like, oh, okay, whatever. Um, and Ichigata is a bomb suit. Like... I wish we would have saw it more. But they said the first ep few episodes, Sorio was human gear built to look like and have memories of Aruto's dad, implying the real Sorio died. I think so. Like it was one, it was so far back. Um, but like, like they never mention it all. And Aruto very much is just like, yeah, that's my dad. My dad was a human gear. Like he never, he never mentions anything different. He's just like, yeah, that's the that was my dad. He was a dude. He was a human gear, and it is what it is. But we'll never know unless we get a V Cinema about Sorio. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Give me that Ichigata uh, suit ten more times over again. Heck, make Ichigata show up in uh, every generation's movie. Key is so expensive. That's what I noticed about the Zero One keys. A lot of the keys are expensive uh, towards the end. Like the original main ones are fine, but everything after that is like 
insane amount of money which is good because like to me that means that zero one succeeded in terms of um like popularity i've noticed if you look back i can buy a wizard figure for honestly 40 50 dollars and uh drive type triteron is still 212 dollars <laughs> i'm so mad i try to get that figure art all the time and it's super expensive but like every every um every gaim figure art too is insanely expensive like even the michi ones are insane so waiting for that waz and sukiyomi v cinema so I can hear Waz say highway once more. Waz's Waz's uh, belt I've been considering buying because it's like thirty five bucks, super cheap. But I think it went up after the Heisei Generations mo uh, movie that Tokushatsu did. I just want Metal Cluster and Shining Hopper, but my bank account does not. Dude, Metal Cluster, Metal Cluster, Cluster, Metal Cluster Hopper. The the actual key of it is so sick. But yeah, super expensive, like you said. Um. But yeah, guys, we today we are looking at your guys' collection. So uh, I've been spouting this whole time how I don't have the money for a bunch of stuff. So let's look at how much money you guys have and see all your collections because uh, I was amazed this week. They far blow mine out of the water. They are insane. Um, <laughs> yeah, but let's jump into it. So switching over, uh, this is the, the Nest, the Discord. You guys have all seen it. You guys are all in it, hanging out. Oh, by the way, uh, I forgot to mention. Sorry, let me go back to the one shot real quick. I forgot to mention, we made affiliate. You guys are fantastic. That's insane, right? Like, I've been doing this for a month, and the goal was 50, 50 followers. We're at like 76 now, or 73 or something like that. Uh, we made affiliate, and I'm super excited about it. And so, to help to celebrate, I guess, um, we have a... Oh, it hasn't been approved yet. I was, we have an emote coming. Hasn't been approved yet. It is, we'll, I'll show you guys when we go into the nest. It is uh, Lolfua. So you guys will be able to use that when you subscribe. But when you subscribe, we also have sub badges now. And the first one is, look at this. The first one is zero one, pointing like that. Uh, so that's a sub badge when you guys subscribe. And then three months sub, sub badges are, Oh, what is it? Oh, it's double the three. I don't know why I put it for three months, but the three months sub badge is double being like that. And then the six months, sub six month sub badge when we get there is drive type Triteron because it's me. And if we get more spots, you'll get more sub badges. So, uh, it'll be great. Oh, our drive type speed. Shout out Jay-Z. That is the first time I've ever seen that. Uh, first time i've ever seen that i forgot what it's called uh alert the alert there we go oh i think yeah oh i guess you don't get it now you'll get it in one month but you're a founder you were legitimately my first subscriber jay-z so shout out to you um but yeah if you follow if you donate you get those you'll see those emotes those alerts come up they're all common rider based so uh, i believe the follower one is is x -Aid. what's up what champ the follower one is x -Aid, so if we get a new follower you'll see it pop up uh and it'll be like leveled up because i designed them like that it uh took forever my room looks chill as fuck uh this is my kitchen actually <laughs> this is you guys can't tell but if you watch the youtube um that wall that i stand in front of is literally right here on the other side of this so it's the like it's the kitchen right here and that's where i set up the filming and everything and then i have these big old lights right here that i can move around and then the wall so we try to make use of the space we live in a one bedroom apartment but it's pretty big so we get by um honestly the thing i still want is thouser even if he's expensive dude that dog is like 300 dollars. i know what dog you're i know which thouser you're talking about tony that dog is like 300 dollars. um and yes i wanted to Bree has tried to talk me into it a million times i'm like no we can't get it <laughs> how many drivers do i have uh three yeah i got the shot riser the drive driver and the guy belt i was the sengoku driver i was so uh so fun fact the dog does dance the engine jingle 
like people just people found that out maybe last week i think uh but people started like getting it and using it and yeah he uh he definitely dances how's california right now because of the fires um the fires are like not super close to us and yesterday everything looked fine today the f the sky is turning kind of orange um i'm about 80 miles away from the f from the like the main fire the uh the what do you call it the baby shower one not the baby shower one the gender reveal party fire happened like 80 miles away from me um but yeah it's starting to get over here oh i'm missing so much Does my girlfriend Toku it upon two? Does she like Toku? Yeah. She, we watched, uh, the first thing I got her to watch was coming out to Gaim. And she was super into it. Uh, this year we watched Zero One together. We watched what's Garo versus Road. I was trying to remember. Garo versus Road together. And she like kind of watches Kira Major from the back while, uh, while she's working. And I'm, I'm working on the videos. So she's into it. There's no fires in Canada right now. I hope not it's uh, like you today and yesterday you could definitely smell it so we like can't open the windows and everything because it's real bad the gender reveal fire yeah it's it's a thing that happened i've seen so many memes today of like uh the oh what is it called the uh, the gender reveal fire but people are like oh i wonder if the dinosaurs went out because the t-rex did a gender reveal party that's hilarious Still watching Zoodra. I've watched a little bit of Zoodra. I need to get back. So Go Busters, um, Cure Major is my first Sentai I've watched week to week. Go Busters was the first Sentai I actually watched, and then I watched a little bit of Q Ranger, and I love Q Ranger. I need to keep watching Cure Ranger. Shout out, no fires in Canada because uh, fires are bad. Canada, good. <laughs> Rise Soldier looks dope. I think I might wait for Dino Fury. I haven't watched Power Rangers in a few seasons. Dino Fury might be the one I jump back into because I'm very interested in like a fully controlled Hasbro Hasbro uh season. I hope it's good too. I've seen a little bit of Go Kaiger, but I like I have that fear of Go Kaiger like I have with Geo of like I haven't watched all those seasons yet, so I need to go back and at least get a little bit into them dino charge is good i've seen a lot of dino charge smoky the bear saying gender reveal party but just text each other and not start a wildfire i've seen that one too the smoky the bear there's so many smoky the bears one and they're so good um but yeah sorry totally got us off track i just wanted to show you guys the the emotes which we'll show you in a second because it's not approved yet and the uh, sub badges for once you get one month blah 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 and we got an alert shout out jay-z our first subscriber founders i think it's like the first 25 are founder subscribers um so i'll make sure to make you guys something special later and then you guys can use it all through twitch because i'm pretty sure that sticks with you uh but the collection picks I'm totally off topic. We are going back to the Discord. You all have seen it before. Here it is. Welcome to the nest. Um, if you're not in it and you want to join it, all you have to do is hit the link in my about up under here, under me, under the video. There's a description, and you can click the Discord link. Make sure you go to rules and hit that check mark. That'll give you access to the Discord. And then I like everybody introducing themselves. Jump in here, introduce yourself, post a picture, whatever you want. Say hello to everyone. I think uh, a lot of people have made friends in there, which I really like. Drive, type, speed. I love that so much. TG512, new subscriber, thank you. You get the sub badge, you get the moat when it come, becomes available eventually. Um, announcements, that's of course where I go live, it'll show you all my videos and everything. Didn't work last week, I got it working now. So uh, that'll show you all the new videos and everything. Go to general. So you got the sub badge there. This is what Lolfua looks like. It'll be, it's small because it has to be because it's a moat, but that's the face you're gonna get to use without the white behind it. It's transparent, I promise. Uh, so when you subscribe, give it a few days. Once it gets approved, that'll be the emote. If we get 15 subscribers, um, 
you get more emote slots so once that happens i'm gonna start putting more emotes in there and i'm gonna let you guys choose the emotes basically um i'll give you guys a few options and then we can figure out from there i'll let you vote on it in the discord because i like that i think that's a cool idea i'm gonna abuse the hell out of the emote i hope you do because so am i like look at his face he's just going at it um i also like i have one ready but it depends on if you vote on it it's an o's pog champ face where like edgy is oh like that that's my Twitter. That's my intro. Everybody go check out Hooked on Henshin's Twitter. He's got a really good Twitter. What's up, Bust It Barbie? We're looking at everybody's uh, uh, collections right now. But first, we're getting intro to the Discord. But uh, I saw you made affiliate too. Shout out, Bust It Barbie. I, um, if you need emotes and stuff, let me know. Because I was thinking about it the other day. And I was like, hey, I can make you emotes. You just finished O's. I finished it at the start of quarantine. And let me just say, O's is easily in my top three writer shows. Yep, Busted Barbie made affiliate too, Jay-Z. I'm, uh, I'm taking credit for it, by the way. <laughs> Stay on track, you're right. TVs and movies, we got a bunch of stuff where you can talk about spoilers and stuff um, for everything you're doing, games and comics. Those aren't really filled up yet, but if you guys want to talk, go talk in them because we're doing a lot of stuff. I'm going to get into games a lot more because we've been playing the games a lot more. Pet pictures, I want to see all your pets. I want to see all your pets. This is my turtle, Rush. I have three turtles. This is one of them. This is Rush. Say hi. Rush Dirtle is his name because he's a tortoise. He's a dirt turtle. Uh, the other one is the other one is Kamekai and the other one is Frankie. I will take pictures of them later. They're just really hard to get pictures of. You can kind of see Kamekai in the background there. Just over here, proud of all my friends and stuff. Thanks, Jay Z. Yeah, his name's Rush. His name is he's named after the. Uh, Mega Man's dog because I love Mega Man. Rush Dirtle. If anyone knows where Dirtle is from, I will be so happy. But it is a uh, YouTube reference. As Rush Dirtle and Kamikai Dirtle, they are dirt turtles because they are tortoises. They are actually desert tortoises. I want to see your guys' uh, fish, whatever dogs, pets too. Post them in the Discord. Solar already posting his pet there. A little goldfish. Uh, self-promotion self-promotion obviously you guys can post your videos and everything i hope if you uh you go in there and check out everybody else's stuff too because they're really cool kiss fanatic has a dino fury cast league pick uh video it is from starter squad you got it birdie buster don't act like you're not sitting in the next room that is my fiance everyone say hi uh <laughs> it is from starter squad on youtube go watch it it's hilarious rushing turtle they definitely do not actually they're a lot faster than i thought they would be oddly enough art i want to see your guys art posted in there we've got some fantastic stuff already like look at that look at that this is really fun solar's been posting zero one forms but as pokemon and i love it i love art i'm i love fan art so much i'm that kind of person uh and then what everyone's here for oops showing it off already stream stuff stream stuff stream stuff is the channel i'm going to use to basically get you guys to participate in all of this so today we are looking at everyone's collections and if you're in the chat and i pull up your collection and you want to say more about it just let me know just just talk about it in chat i will repeat it not here for the people that are watching later and can't see the chat right now um, but yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is look at people's collections. Uh, I still have to figure out more. If anybody has any ideas, they can post it in stream stuff too. We'll look at that. You got a doofass beagle and a cat. My fiance loves beagles, so if you have one, post it. Um, so without further ado, let's look at Goruto Takatora's Kamen Rider Amazon's CSM. Guys, if you have a CSM, I just want you to know that I'm very, very jealous of you. <laughs> CSM, like my goal when starting this whole thing, the stream, the YouTube and everything, I told myself like, all right, if I can get a CSM belt with whatever I make from this, then I'll be golden. Like that, that to me is a success because I really, I really want the CSM O's belt, but that thing is like $350, especially right now. And so, excuse me. And so, uh, 
yeah, anybody who has the CSM belt, I'm super jealous of you because they're insanely cool. CSM Amazon driver comes with so much stuff uh, that I'm super jealous. Like, look at how cool that is. I love it. Choo, choo, choo. Moving on, Solar Storm Decade stuff. You're in here. I saw you in the chat. I don't have a CSM either. It's okay. <laughs> look at all this. Let's open it. Let's make it bigger for people. Oh, there you go. Shout out Q Ranger. I was just talking about it. All that stuff. Look at that big, what is that big O's right there? Because I want it. Like, it's not a fig art because it's too big. Which is cool because I want those like bigger, bigger rider toys. You got Sweet Gates, Dino Charge Zooger. I didn't even realize the four is a back there. I was like, "What's that X on the on the leg right there?" The CSM Deno belt is cool. Deno is another series that I'm super interested in, and I need to go back and watch. Or I need to start watching. This one's dope. And you got books, which is not included in my collection. So shout out to you. Uh, the SpongeBob SquarePants book, a particular favorite of mine. Oh, they're called Master Grades. I'm gonna look that up because I need a Master Grade. I have some model kits. You'll see. You'll see it when we get to mine. Uh, next one up, Caesar. I keep talking about how I'm jealous of people. Caesar has my exact. Caesar has my exact display case. But he has hot toys in it. <laughs> like, hot toys are insane. And they look so good in this display case. Look at all that. Look at all the Avengers. It's insane. I want it so bad. Plus, let us, I, shout out to the IKEA display cases. Shout out to Carrie Fisher. That's so awesome that you have the picture, picture right there. But Caesar's not done yet. Caesar has a lot of stuff for us. Caesar, let me just tell you, right off the bat, I don't know anyone, and I mean anyone, that collects pop vinyls and doesn't have them in the boxes. This is the first time I've seen it. And honestly, I like it better this way. I, I have them, I, col I collected uh, one series of pop vinyls. We have a little bit more, uh, but one main series of pop vinyls. You'll see in a second. Uh, subs on Twitch, not on YouTube. YouTube subs are something else how many subs we're at we're at two right now on youtube we're at uh 119 or something i got a lot today that ultraman you guys love that ultraman video which shout out to you guys boom 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 um but yeah caesar i'm liking your pop vinyls that they're not in the boxes because i've never seen that before this is like and this is all star wars stuff too except for the bottom we got just slick and suicide squad down there caesar's still not done Caesar has so much. Look at the One Piece stuff. The sweet Back to the Future stuff down there. Also books in your collection. I don't know why I didn't take pictures of my collection or of my books. I have books. I didn't read any of them, but I have them. And you have the art books too. I feel like those are really expensive. And the Art of Overwatch book down there, which <laughs> looks like it's 800 pages. That's dope. Jay-Z, if you have books, go post them in there right now. Because <laughs> I have books and I totally forgot to. Boom, 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 boom. I love, I love all the doctors standing around the TARDIS like this. It's so sick. And the Godzilla one. And the little Dalek. And then you got Scott Pilgrim. I was also telling Brie earlier, because we were looking at these, I'm so jealous of these shelves, I want them. I, I didn't know they exist. But now that I see them, I'm like, man, we can use those for so much. Guys, I don't know if you know this. I'm gonna open this one up right now. I'm a gigantic Scotty Young fan. I have an entire shirt that's just Scotty Young stuff. What's up, Peppermint gentlemen? Um, I have pins. I don't see them in front of me. I was going to grab one, but I can't find them. <laughs> They're probably in my closet, honestly. I have pins that are Scotty Young pins. I absolutely love Scotty Young's art. Caesar has an entire wall full of Scotty Young art that's like, look at that. Look at the Spider-Man Scotty Young cover. It's, oops, I, I zoomed in way too much. It's two issues. 
Caesar has both of them stuck together. Boom, right there. And I think I saw one over here. Yeah, the Spider Woman one. I don't know why it keeps going to the corner like that. That's signed. You have more Scotty Young in storage or you have more collections? Because you definitely submitted the most pictures and I'm also jealous of 90% of it. Like, what? I'm, I'm such a big Scotty Young fan and just the fact that you posted that, I was like, I can't believe this is a thing. This is amazing. More Scotty Young variants? That's so sick. Shout out to you. That is dedication. And like, if you guys didn't know, finding frames for stuff is kind of hard. The Green Lantern Drive. rings. Type speed. Shout out Weapon X. Thanks for the subscribe. We're getting a bunch of subscribers today. Shout out. If I would have known Hidden Affiliate was so good, I would have done it earlier. But also you guys did it for me. So thank you so much. The Green Lantern rings and the bases. That's sick. Are the, are the rings separate from the, from the power batteries, Caesar? Type speed. Yeah, I was showing off the alerts a little earlier. Um, I they're all they're all common rider sounds. The animation is so good. Thank you. I made it. It took me all night. You have a Kevin Conroy signed Batman DVD. That's dope as heck. This is the one. This is the one. I can remove them and they light up. So jealous. This right here is the one that Bree is the most jealous of. Bree is a big pin collector. Uh, let me show you guys real quick. Oh, can't take it down. Never mind. I tried to take it down. It didn't work. Uh, we have pins right there. We have pins on the wall behind me that you guys see on the on the YouTube videos. We have pins in the in the uh, closet right there. We have pins everywhere. When I say that the minute I pulled this up, my fiance was like, "Where did he get those?" So Caesar, she's in the chat. So if you put it in the chat, uh, she will definitely steal that link because she loves pins and. I want that build pin, that hazard form pin. Let me share the guy I get these from. He has more and he has Sentai. Sick! Share it in the chat because it sounds like a lot of people want them. Um, I saw one guy that has a Sengoku driver pin and I'm so mad I never bought it. Like that X8 pin is so sick. And then like, it's just... The zero one forums. I'll probably get that Vulcan pin, especially if he has an assault wolf, because I love assault wolf. Caesar says hot toys figures MCU on the picture, but I also have Star Wars in storage until after I get another display case. I feel you; those display cases are expensive. Uh, Funko Pops, Doctor Who, Overwatch, MCU, DCEU, and Star Wars art books, MCU, Disney, Pixar, and video games. Scotty Young Marvel variant covers, Common Rider pins, and lanterns from DC Direct. Also, One Piece statues. Both of those are the oldest stuff I have. Caesar, round of applause in the chat, please, because that is a beautiful collection. Like, she just yelled at me the pins are only ten dollars. So let's open this up and see what they look like. Uh, what am I looking at here? Posters to the second link. Yeah. Pre order pins. <sighs> That's dope. That's yeah, eleven ninety five. Oh, see what you did, Caesar. See what you did. Babe, we don't have to eat this month. It's fine. <laughs> Order them. Yep, we're getting that Ames 2 pack. We're getting that yes. Ames 2 pack for sure. Look at Pua. She's buying it right now. I can hear her. Oh, they have a Blizzard one too. Dude, if you guys if you guys know where like who sells belt pins, I'm such a sucker for them. Oh. Is it there? There's a Kachadoki arms. Oh. That one's 9.95. That one's dope. Dude, I want all of these. Look at the Genom one. You got that one for pre-order? I'm like, I'm literally gonna favorite this because I love all of these. What? Zeo Gold? And the White Ranger? Dude, these are sick. 
I want these so bad. Yep, I'm gonna order them. I'm gonna order them. Cup of noodle the rest of the month. You're right, babe. Cup of noodle the rest of the month. Let's do it. Yes, yeah, posters. Oh, God, those are so cool. Let's go to t shirts. I'm a t shirt guy. Black Hazard. These are dope shirts. I like the white ones. I'm trying to wear less black, is the problem. <laughs> Gaze Revive looks insane. Yeah, I'm trying to wear less black is the problem. We'll look at those later. On to Hooked on Henshin's collection. He's the first one here. Now he's up to the plate. Are you ready? Here's my collection, starting with Lightning Collection figures, then my current Morphers, Changers, and my current five Rider belts with gimmicks. Let's jump into it. I'm also going away from black t-shirts. I try to, but like today I did the Ultraman video, so I had to wear the Ultraman shirt. And if you're like, oh, he's wearing the same shirt he wore in his video, that's because, yeah, I recorded that video like less than 24 hours ago, and I wore this shirt for 10 minutes. So, yes, I'm wearing it again. Uh, let's open it up. Open original, because it makes it way bigger. Dude, I want the Go Busters Morpher so bad. I know this is the, the Beast Morphers one, but like... That was my first Sentai. Lightning figure collect. Lightning figures look so good. I have, I have Red Buster, but as a figure art. These are dope. I need to get into Lightning figures. I don't know why I haven't so far. They're so cheap. Um, they're like twenty bucks a piece. I don't know why I haven't jumped on it yet. Cause there's some really good Lightning figures out there. The Magnet Defender one mainly. I'm a big Time Force guy too, so points for that. All the Ryu Soldier stuff. You have Takamichi's Morpher. Listen, Hooked on Henshin's, I know this is your first time on this channel, but I'm just going to let you know, we hate Takamichi here. <laughs> for no other reason than he's kind of an idiot. <laughs> he's a great character. He's a bad ranger. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I love Takamichi. Uh, he, we make fun of him all the time on Toku Tuesday nights when we watch it because he just like has no brain. He is so lovable. Bought a few for my kiddo. He wanted the white tiger ranger and I couldn't say no. I bought the white tiger for somebody uh, earlier, earlier on and uh, I'm mad I didn't buy it for myself because it was dope and now it's like out of stock most places. Takamichi's suit is dope, but like I said, if you show up on Toku Tuesday nights, man, Takamichi makes some dumb decisions. <laughs> so we, he is kind of the butt of all our jokes. The Lupin Pat changers, dope. Oh, 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 I'm so jealous. So jealous. The decade driver, sick. Zero two driver that you said got caught up in China for three months. Finally here. But this right here, oop, not the legs. <laughs> scroll down this right here you have shooting wolf assault wolf and rampage gatling i want rampage gatling so bad and like i should <laughs> not that i regret buying the shot riser but rampage gatling does so much on its own that i think i would have been happy if i would just bought rampage gatling too but i love my shot riser literally nowhere else to put it i mean yeah but it's also like the biggest one so it could survive back there it's fine the japanese wolf japanese wolf is cool it's just like a it's just like one of these though right it's just a regular progress key which means i mean it's probably still gonna be a hundred dollars because it's it's a uh, probably a premium band i think such a gem of a gimmick item. I know, and I love that the secondary writer got the gimmick that like combined everything. There they are again. You have the gamer driver, which is sick. I have one gash at. <laughs> but like, see, this is my thing right here. I need to start buying drivers, and this is this is was my idea with the sword driver. I need to start buying drivers at the beginning of the season so I can get the final power-up things like these and then i'd it not be a 100 200 per, or 200 purchase all at once my team maximum x like the gamer driver 
isn't it's, it was so much for the final like you need to mind maximum x and then you need the key and it like it has to i guarantee it's like 300 dollars now for all of it got how did you get the mighty maximum x for six dollars oh got an amazon credit card <laughs> that's not the same thing as getting it for six dollars and then you got the jiku driver sick i still need to watch the oh i've seen episodes certain episodes i just want to watch more heisei era stuff first adnan adnan is not here right now but adnan you'll see him play with me on stream a lot he played jackbox with us he also did uh uh what is it called fall guys fall guys with me and tony when we were doing it so adnan the handsome voice if you don't know, he's the uh, ring announcer for Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, New Japan Strong, um, and NWA Primetime Live, which is starting September 15th next week. So he's the ring announcer for that stuff. Uh, we go way back. Good friends. He has a collection of Ambios, Amiibos. I don't know why I call them Ambio. I probably call them Ambio because I always looked at them and thought, man, who would buy that? And now I know that Adnan would buy that. And it does not surprise me in the least at all. I want the ridiculous Grand Zio thing. Forgot the gimmick name. The Grand Zio one's dope. Like, it comes out. I like the Gaze one because it has, like, all the secondary riders. But the Oma driver is so clean. Like, all Geo's final stuff is dope. But Adnan's thing, um, Pokeball, not an amiibo. But the rest of it is dope. I don't even know what the amiibos do, honestly. Like, the Henshin Jigo Fort is extra for the uh, for the Grand G Geo one. I don't know what Amiibos do, but if they're just little statues like this, I guess I'm okay with it. Do they move? Like Yoshi looks like he moves with his arms right there and stuff. Depends on the game. What do they do in Smash? That's I think Smash is the only game I have that's uh that's made for it. Little Doctor Mario. Dude, these are like $20 each, too. Adding on, you're insane. I love it, though. This is a good collection. And you got the gold ones. You saw Greninja? Is Greninja in here? Where is he? Did I miss him? Oh, here we go. Every Super Mario cereal box is an amiibo. You can use to unlock special content to power up your Super Mario Odyssey adventures. Wait, so this is a cereal box. This isn't even a real amiibo. <laughs> Just posted mine right now. We'll go look at it. We're scrolling down. We got six new messages since we started this. So you guys are just wanting me to show off, show off your stuff. Dude, the wedding Mario ones are dope. I, can, like, I can't even imagine so many people probably used that as their cake toppers at their wedding. See the Lucha Underground pass back there. I know where you've been, Adnan. The Mewtwo. So, Adnan, when you watch this later, text me because I have a question. Why take out some of them and why keep some of them in the box? I'm interested. And, like, I mean, I guess you could probably, like, the ones you took out, you probably used in a game at some point, And you're probably not using these ones so much. But, like, I'm very curious about this. All right, uh, somebody on my Facebook wanted to jump in, but they didn't know how to use Discord, so I let them. Uh, this is my friend Andrea. She has a Lilo and Stitch toy collection. She said this is about a quarter of it, and if she were to take it all out, she would not know how to put it back. And I could not imagine having that many stuffed animals, let alone that many Lilo and Stitch stuffed animals. So shout out to her. Breath of the Wild, I know you get items by using Amiibos. Huh. I wonder if, like, like Amiibos that came out, like, four years after Breath of the Wild, I wonder if those still give you items. Is it like scanners? If anybody remembers scanners, you would, like, scanners. You would scan the, uh, the, uh, UPSs of stuff. UPSs. The barcodes of things. And it, it was supposed to be, like, once you understood that, like, oh, you're just randomizing stuff. Like, these barcodes could be anything. They also blew up half the time. If anybody ever had a scanner, I had a scanner. My brother had a scanner, and we always wanted to battle, and we uh, always had a hard time finding actual scanners, finding actual monsters. 
Hooked on Hench has posted his son and his fur baby. And the masks. Oh, those are sick. Get the zero one in the build mask. You guys have seen my mask before. I'm gonna pull them out anyways, just cause uh, I I got I gotta compete right now. I think my drive mask is in the dirty laundry uh, because I use it so much. But I've got this one. Boom, my sweet guy mask. And uh, my favorite band, The Wonder Years. I got that mask. Oh, thank you, babe. She just threw it to me. And uh, my sweet drive mask. Boom. I got those from Undercover Nerd Co. on tw uh, Instagram. I almost said Twitter. On Instagram. They are my fiance's cousin. And she, like, they 3D print stuff. They, uh, they vinyl cut stuff so they, she made those and those are sick who collects kids <laughs> a lot of people do. <laughs> i know people with like eight nine kids um but apparently hooked on henshin's collects sons and fur babies i think he was trying to post them in the <laughs> in the pet pictures ones <laughs> oh look at the beagle look at him it's adorable I like those minimal style masks too because like people don't ask me what they are they just are i like i'm i'm the worst fan in that like with bands wrestling rider stuff if you if i it's a piece of merch and i have to wear it like if you can't tell what it is the better if it's just a logo and nobody's gonna be like oh that's a cool power rangers thing or what is that thing or it's not like a big face on it i'll totally wear it i'm all in i say is wearing this ultraman Camel clutch t-shirt. I'm like, I don't want to wear black. I'm wearing black. I don't want to wear faces. Boom, Ultraman's on my, on my thing. Rabbit tank. I love build so much. Build is probably, like I know a lot of people love, uh, love Zero One and stuff. And even Gaim. Gaim was my favorite for a while. I think build is objectively the best Heisei Rider series. Hands down. I played Common Rider Craft. I haven't. Honestly, I don't think my computer can run uh, Minecraft alone. Mass FN online that are fandom related are way too overdesigned. For sure. There's a lot like like this one's literally the band's logo. And I, also I haven't worn it yet because it's white and I don't want to get it dirty. But this one's just like the band's logo. But I've seen so many that are like like the logo all over. But I'm more of a minimalistic person anyways with a lot of stuff. But I also think I'd wear it. I also think I'd wear a mask that like was a rider was a rider helmet. J Rad texted me this morning, said he didn't have a collection. I said, you have to have a collection of something. We started the stream and then he decided I do have a collection of books. So I'm gonna put this under scrutiny because it took you so long to submit it. And you were my first subscriber. Shout out to you. J Red has Mankind, which I also have uh, in my bookcase, but I haven't read. Somebody gave it to me. There's so many odd books in there. I looked at this one and I was like, oh, The Rock. It's not a book about The Rock. I was like, obviously he has Mankind here, so he must have something about The Rock. Nope, not The Rock. Catching Fire, but none of the other Hunger Games books. Dan Brown, James Patterson. You got Cosmos. There you go. Nope, that's honestly one of the oldest books I own. It's some old ass history of rock book. Is it like, oh, it's rock and roll. Okay. I was like the rough and then I can't read the rest. Bunch of Stephen King books. One book of Narnia. Okay, so your bottom shelf looks a lot more. <laughs> Your bottom shelf looks a lot more organized. Up here, I'm like, why is there one Hunger Games book, one Narnia book? But the Stephen King books are up here. And then down here, just loads and loads of Star Wars. Loads and loads of Star Wars. Oh, it has all the Narnia books? All right, I'll give you a pass. That's a, that is a thick-ass book, too. 
That's a thick boy. I don't know what's in front of it right there, but Lord of the Rings is right there. I, me and my brother, ha so funny story about this specifically. Uh, me and my brother had Lord of the Rings in high school. We had the, oh, you guys can't see it very well. There you go. Uh, we had uh, we had Lord of the Ring, all the books, Lord of the Rings books in high school, but they were like some edition that wasn't the movie edition. You know how they print books out and they have like the movie characters on them. So it wasn't that. Glass etching of our wedding invite. Oh, that's so sick. Babe, are you on the stream right now? Yeah. Look at this thing right here. It's a glass etching of his wedding invite. Sorry, we're getting married in January, so I'm like, we're still looking for stuff. <laughs> still looking for ideas and stuff. She'll see it in a second. Um, but we had these Lord of the Rings books, and my brother hated The Hobbit. Like, read it once and was just like, this is the worst. Look at it. Is it their invitation? Yeah, it's their invitation. It's like a glass etching of it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, two editions of lord of the rings yeah he hated the hobbit I, probably because the hobbit like was the one that wasn't a movie but he hated the hobbit so basically back in the day ipods did not look like this they were not phones they were about half the size this way uh what we call an ipod mini or nano i don't remember no the nano was the the square one an ipod mini and i had this class that i was not particularly fond of called earth science and i thought i would be really sly and cut a hole in the book feed my ipod into the book and just wear long sleeves to school set it there and listen to that we had a substitute one day we had a substitute for like oh, two weeks or something my teacher was getting some kind of surgery we had a substitute it was an old man didn't really didn't really notice much and Everyone, nobody's doing work because we have a substitute. And he walks over to my desk and says, class, grabs the book off my desk, picks it up. I grab the headphone jack out of my sleeve so that, so that the headphones pull out of the jack. He picks up the book, shows it to the entire class and says, class, Dylan is going places because he reads. Do you see this? He reads. I about had a heart attack. He puts, the, he puts the book down. It doesn't fall out. The iPod doesn't fall out. Puts it down. The person next to me, one of my friends, knew it was in there. She's laughing her ass off the entire time. And I'm sweating bullets. I'm sweating assault wolf bullets. Thinking that this is going to fall out. I'm going to get written up. It's going to happen. Nope. Sets it down. Turns out. The Hobbit is the perfect book for holding iPods, just in case you wanted to know. Just in case you needed that lesson, now you have it. Go cut holes in The Hobbit or read it. You can do either or. It's good for both, honestly. Not a fantasy guy, so I can relate to your friend. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I use The Hobbit for. The Star Wars books, uh, I love that you have so many. One. I heard they're all amazing. I heard a lot of them are amazing. I have friends that have read the entire Star Wars book. What is this in the middle? Oh, it's The Empire Strikes Back. I was like, why is this, why is this one book different from the rest of it? William Shakespeare's The Empire Strikes Back. That sounds dope. Um, but also, have fun with all those books that aren't canon anymore. Because I know they are. 90% of those are super good summer stinkers. Well, they're all fake now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And Tony coming in hot with the Batman Nightwing collection. I'm most in love with my signed Kevin Conroy film, but number one has to be the killing joke. Super dope. I'm a Nightwing's probably my second favorite hero, right behind Hawkeye. Like a big Nightwing fan. Fun fact, if you didn't know, uh yes, it's Empire, but done in Shakespeare style. That's cool. Fun fact, uh, these Nightwing books. Are written by Kyle Higgins. Kyle Higgins also writing The Rise of Ultraman, which, if you want to know how it is, there's a review on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Hockillies. Super plug. Did it. Threw it out there. So go check that out after the stream. After the stream. Don't leave now. Please. We're doing we're doing real well. We're having fun. Uh these Nightwing books are awesome, by the way. I read them. These probably these are probably what got me into Kyle Higgins. So when he uh started doing the 
Power Rangers ones, I was like already all in. I was like, Kyle Higgins is the freaking man. Look at that tie-in. That is why we sub. Thank you, Jay-Z. I tried, I like saw the Nightwing out of my eye and I was like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this happen. Took a lot of forward thinking, trust me. Batman Nightfall, that is an insanely thick book. I wonder how many issues is in that. Tony, if you're still in the chat, let me know. The Killing Joke. Everybody loves The Killing Joke. Batman Files. The Dark Knight Returns. Is that a book? Is that a hardcover? It looks like it. I used to, I used to collect like single comics all the time. And now I like buy them digitally because it's a whole lot easier for me. Shout out COVID times. Uh, but I, used, I have like... When we moved, we had to store some stuff in my fiance's mom's house. So there's about four comic boxes just full of the most random stuff. Because I was trying to read books like every week. Love Kyle Higgins saw he was writing Ultraman. And I love his writing. Yeah, it's still good. Hey, Tony. How many, how many, Tony, how many issues is that Nightfall book? Does it say on the back? Read that whole night we were on? It's good. I love, I love the tie-in to uh, Court of Owls. Oh, it's a book and DVD combo. That's sick. That's super dope. Batman and Harley Quinn signed by Kevin Conroy. Did I say Kevin Smith before when you mentioned it the first time? Signed by Kevin Conroy. Way better, just in terms of like Kevin Conroy is Batman. Got to bounce. For now, it turns out the laptop doesn't take streaming, Twitch, and editing a podcast. Who would have thought? Trust me, I know the uh, struggle. But thank you so much, Dayrad. Thank you for being the first sub. Shout out to you. Thank you for the congrats on affiliate. And thank you for sharing your book collection with us. Super cool. Switched to digital a couple years ago. Been reading since 2005 and ended up having five long boxes. Yeah, and like... I used to have a friend that we would buy comics and then we would trade them when we were done reading them. So we'd read them back and forth. So like I have a lot of half collections for some reason, not for some reason, for that reason, for that exact reason, a lot of half collections. And then like, I just have all these boxes and I'm like, do I throw them away? It says series 495, 4, 491 to 500, 659 to 666. It's a whole ton of comics. That's a lot. It's a th- and it's a thick book. It's a, can I get a thick boy? Because it is a thick boy. Look at that right there. Whew. Um, it's only the first volume. There's a second one. That's insane. I guarantee you there's a, uh, an omnibus too. That's like the entire thing. But the other part, so like I was collecting single books and then for some books I was collecting trade paperbacks, the hardcovers because they're super cool. And I was like, man, these are really expensive. Con- if you're going to read comics, it's a very, very expensive hobby, but it's worth it in some respects. I would say, I would say in terms of comics, if you do not like a comic, if you're like reading a series and you're three issues in, I'm like, you're not feeling this, like jump off because there's no, there's no shame in jumping off and just waiting for the trade paperback and buying it anyways. It's still the same in terms of, uh, like you're still supporting those creators and everything. But, uh, I used to have that problem a lot where I'm like, nope, I've read this comic for 30 issues. It is garbage, but I got to stick it out and uh, just wasn't worth it. And I ended up spending hundreds of dollars on comics that I didn't even like. And I read once and didn't really care about. Uh, So like the first one I decided to like, man, I got to jump off of this was uh, Dan Slott's early Spider-Man run. Sorry, you guys are still sending me notifications. Uh, Dan Slott's early Spider-Man run. I was like, man, I can't, I can't keep doing this. I'm not having fun, and I'm just spending like four dollars every week because Spider-Man was weekly at the time. Need to get Green Lantern Omnibus from Rebirth Collection, one of my favorite runs in DC Comics. Are you talking about Green Lantern Rebirth or Rebirth DC Rebirth Green Lantern? Because Green Lantern Rebirth rules. Comicsology is doing sales. If you guys didn't know, I don't know if it's still going on, but Comicsology is giving away like every black panther book for free which is super dope of them jeff john's green lantern is the one i'm all in on like green lantern rebirth to blackest night is one of the best comic runs out of dc that you're that you're gonna find simple as that 
Somebody put something in memes. Fellas, if your guy is golden, based on a Caucus Beetle, and uses protagonist power ups, that's not your guy. That's Common Rider Caucus. Look at him. Look at him. I don't know why Common Rider memes. I don't. It's something I've noticed, especially on the Common Rider Reddit. Common Rider memes are always super low quality in terms of like just image quality. Jeff Johns Green Lantern. Good. Shout out in the chat for Jeff <laughs> Jeff Johns Green Lantern. That's what got you into comics. I'm interested. If anybody else in the chat is into comics, what 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 started it for you? Because for me. I started reading at Civil War for Marvel, the first one. This is one of my favorite memes I've seen, by the way. If you, <laughs> like, it just ties into the finale so well. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Um, yeah, Civil War was my first comic that I started reading. And like, so I got thrown in and essentially what's one, what is one of the best comics of all time. And uh, yeah then off from there then i was like oh great secret invasion and stuff which came years later but you know siege sure bendis's new avengers the start of that run is so good the mighty avengers run too is good but those are your collections guys thanks for everybody submitting stuff i did not think we'd get that many people submit stuff but um, yeah, if you have any suggestions on what else we should look at on stream next time or like just what we should do I so I know everybody likes the Thursday streams the Tuesday streams like have a point to them that we obviously just watch Ryder and Sentai and talk about it But the Thursday streams are kind of just up to whatever we want to do So if we want to do stuff like this I am gonna say that once a month we're gonna do a Jackbox stream we're basically we're all just gonna play together I'll probably bring some of my friends in on the discord as well and they'll be like talking on stream but for the most part we're gonna play with the community because uh, Jackbox is fun and I like it and we have fun with it so if there's any other games that you guys know that we can play like that um, we're going to do that stuff as well I'm gonna look into like doing marbles on streams we don't have a lot of people but um, Maybe doing marbles on streams for like a giveaway, like a tournament or something, or like just play 10 rounds and whoever gets the most wins. That would be kind of cool. Jeff Johns is the one who made me love DC at the time and dive more into the DC universe. The t so like there was a time, there was a year, a few years actually, where it was like Jeff Johns at DC and Brian Bendis at Marvel. And they were just the architects of the entire universe. And I really like that setup. Like... It gave us, it, mind you, if you didn't like it, you probably like hated years of comic books, but um, there was just, there was a lot of good stuff going on at that point. And I think right now with DC, Scott Snyder's kind of that Jeff Johns figure that's leading the universe. But it, I don't know, COVID messed it all up. Everything's all messed up with stuff. Like Empire is missing issues. Um, DC, I don't really know what they're doing. <laughs> There's, I know, I know death metal has been happening, maybe been happening for years. There's just a lot of stuff happening with comics right now. I'm, I want to make this channel, at least even the YouTube channel, more in tune with comics. I'm just waiting for a reset, honestly, because there's so much happening. So once I find a good jumping on point, I think I'll start leaning into comics more with the Toku stuff and everything. Um, but yeah, like I said, this Thursday stream, Empire was a good event. A shame some spinoffs were canceled. Yeah, like that Thor one was probably re really important to the to the story of Empire, at least the story of where Thor was. Um, but yeah, this Thursday stream is going to be more, not whatever you guys want to do, but like, yeah, whatever you guys want to do. So if you have any ideas or anything, I'll, I'll submit stuff in the stream stuff. I'll post it when I think of stuff, but like, just looking at stuff, hanging out, probably playing games. I'm about to jump into a game uh, that I really like that I have wanted to show you guys or have wanted to show you guys. I played it today and I was like, hey, I need to show the stream this. I'm also down with Comic Talks being back again. Yeah, we probably won't do weekly ones because like, like I said before, that got expensive. Um, maybe one stream we could talk about our favorite movies and pop culture references. I would like that. I can also watch the boys on stream too if anybody's interested in that we can do a watch along of that because like because amazon owns twitch they let you do watch parties with their amazon prime content um so we can do the boys if you want 
probably do like the season finale of the boys when that airs that would be fun and not family friendly but yeah i'm totally down for like movies and cop pop culture references and like i said that's what the discord is for guys wrapping this all up that is absolutely what the discord is for if you think man i like this i i saw this i i watched madoka magica the other day and the movie rebellion which by the way i love one of my favorite animes f from now on but i i've also said that about like the last three animes i watched when uh really the one true favorite anime is always going to be uh yu yu Hakusho. oh i don't know why i didn't think of this i totally didn't show you guys mine I have them saved on my phone. I'm going to show, throw them in the Discord right now. Um, maybe watch anime. We, we could. So here's the thing. Everyone probably knows this, but uh, Toku Tuesday Nights, totally not kosher. Uh, so like, if that gets reported, like basically we can't do it anymore. The thing with anime is if it's on YouTube, most things, if it's on YouTube, we could probably watch it on stream and be fine with no copyright strikes or anything. We can't watch like entire episodes of anime and stuff. Um, but sorry, I'm looking for, I lost the stream stuff thing so I can throw my pictures in there. Do, 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 do. All right, there we go. Threw it in there. I'll open it up in a second, but, um, my files are too powerful. Well, I don't know why. That's weird. What if I try them one by one? Sorry, give me one second while I figure out how to do this. I guess I gotta do them one by one. Okay. Here we go. If you get a ton of alerts right now from the Discord, I am sorry. Throwing these in there and then I'll pop them up on stream so we can talk about them. Um, what if we sort of did reading club but stream something easy and cheap? Maybe something that comes out every month or something. I had to post three at a time. Also, oh, also Digimon. I remember you posted that trailer for that movie. Yeah, that trailer. Com that movie comes out at the end of September. I want to say I'm super excited about that. So like, that's definitely going to be a YouTube video where I talk about it and review it, and we can talk about it that day. Um, but yeah, basically, if it's on YouTube, like we can watch it on stream because that those won't won't get very very copyright strikey. Um, I will take the chance with Toku Tuesday because the idea. My whole idea for starting this channel, this stream, everything, is I want Common Rider to be more readily available in the mainstream. And like, if they aren't doing it, I am okay with doing it. Um, as f as far as as long as that'll last, I don't know. We might have to. Ch at some point, we're probably gonna have to change Toko Tuesday nights to either being a Discord exclusive thing, which is why I'm trying to get so many as much of you in there as possible, or to a. Um, to a thing where like i watch it along on screen like this and we put the links in the description and you guys just watch along and we start it together at the same time put the numbers up or whatever um but we'll cross that bridge to, to when we get to it because right now we're just having fun oh boy did i watch build i did i love build it's close to see it in new york and then everything closed the week prior yeah it was really like really close to coming out i'm excited to see it. so i don't know if you have you guys been watching the digimon uh reboot series going happening right now I really like it. But over to my stuff. These are crummy pictures because I took them uh I took them literally like 10 minutes before I went on stream. Let me open them up. So we have those exact same display cases that Caesar has. The problem is none of the things we have are really tall, so they don't really fill out the stuff. So here's some of the stuff. You can see the Digimon. The uh Brie and my fiance has an obsession with these little pokemon lego things she loves those so if you see any uh send me links because that makes me a better fiance and i get points for that and then down here we got bakugo we got todoroki we got deku and we got hiei from yu yu show right there those are on the floor those should probably should probably be higher up honestly because they because they fill it out a little bit it is a lego pip piple up yeah Right there. I think there's another one back there that you can't see, but there's like Lapras, there's Gengar. I thought we had a Snorlax somewhere. And then um, I will, most of my stuff is pretty, pretty spread out because I put stuff on the desk. It did take Brie two hours to do <laughs> the Piplup. Um, I put the stuff on the desk so you can kind of see it in the videos, but I had to take it out of the display case. So it'll look spread out everywhere. But there's the first figure art I ever got, my snipe. 
my Sengoku driver that I got for Christmas from Bree. Shout out, fiance. Uh, build. I built him. I built him. He's a figurize. And my Switch. And then on the other side of the desk, we got the Shot Riser. We got the Kiwami Arms Head. We got little mini O's. I love him. These guys. One and two. I got from uh, that jungle that I told you about. Anime jungle. And they were used. So I got them for seven bucks a piece. And they came with like all the extra hands and stuff. I love it. Um, jungle sells used stuff that people will bring in. We got my little drive thing that I've showed you guys a million times. Uh, double figure art up there. And my AirPod holder right there. Don't look at the rest of the stuff. It's just uh, dirty. Moving over to my display case. Where... Oh, I forgot. I forgot to throw in a picture apparently. Did I? Yeah, I forgot to throw in a picture. Let me throw that in real quick. I promise. My streams are really good most of the time. <laughs> Forgot to throw in the top picture. All right, there we go. So moving over to my display case. Here is the bottom of it. You remember how I said I clicked? We collected all of one uh, pop vinyl stuff. That was Yu Yu Hakusho. So we have the whole Yu Yu Hakusho series, including Hiei. He was an exclusive. He's on the other side somewhere. I got a Gaim watch. My Kamen Rider stuff is so random because for the longest time it was just like, hey, I found this thing. It's Kamen Rider. I don't see Kamen Rider stuff anywhere. Grab it. So I got this Gaim watch. It's a little Forze. Um, this is drive type formula. It's Kachidoki arms. They're both soft finals. And then, yeah, Go Buster. Go Buster Red fig art. As you can see, it looks a lot different from the... Uh, the, what's it called the lightning collection ones and then this little fat bottomed uh hawkeye that can sit Kachidoki arms is dead <laughs> the problem with these is they're like right next to this doorway you see and i hit them all the time like i run into these display cases all the time so this stuff falls um and then bang bang shooting because like i said snipe was my favorite from x aid for a long time i think he still is technically yeah technically and then I bought uh, Black RX because to me, when I saw this, he was just a masked rider. <laughs> I was like, that's masked rider. Do you have Furbus? Rest in peace, Fruit Jesus. He went back to his family. And then we'll get to Solars in a second. I just want to show off the top real quick because here is my little drive shrine. There's the belt on my cars. You see Demi, Demi, Demi Devamon hanging from there. That is Rodan and Mothra right there. And then Michi's gun, because Michi is a backstabber and a liar, which is why this gun was only $13 used. Because nobody likes Michi. And he shouldn't have got a redemption arc. And if you argue with me, uh, know that you're wrong. Mr. Belt. Beltosan. I want to... So, I, I keep talking about cosplaying as Fuwa eventually. But at this, honestly, I think I'm going to cosplay as, uh, as Shinosuke first. Because they're basically the same thing with a switching out ties. Michi does suck. Thank you. I agree. But I have his, I have his lock seed regardless. These are my lock seed holders. They came, it came in a bundle on eBay when she bought it. Michi more like midget. <laughs> um, it came with a bundle. So it came with uh, Deno lock seed and <sighs> I haven't seen the series. So don't murder me. I'm not even gonna try to try to guess it, but it also came with these two legend rider lock seeds. I want to say Agito, but I'm not sure. Kabuto. Yeah, see, I was wrong. All right, well, I'm not the Toku specialist that you all thought. Thank you for joining. This is a fun time. Have a good night. I'm just kidding. We still have to show off. Uh, I see Shoah, give me your masks. What is this? Is that a Bionicle? For, some, for, one, for a second I thought it was Unicron. Because I saw Optimus in the back right there. <laughs> There's your homework schedule though. See that. It is a Bionicle. Sweet. I had, um, I don't know, I don't remember what they're called. They're definitely Bionicles, but they're like the, the little ball ones that kind of look like the, the rolling balls from, uh, Star Wars. Those Bionicles were my jam. Absolutely my jam. 
um but yeah that was all that was all the stuff got through all that stuff i wanted to show you guys and share with you uh toko tuesday nights obviously for now if you guys want to stick around you can because we are going to play this game i found called Spellbreak, and what it is sorry i'm switching over my monitor what it is is it is a oh, i should probably switch over the stream information too huh you would think a streamer would be ready, prepared for this stuff. Bowrock. Is it, they call Bowrocks? That sounds about right. They were definitely a rock. The original Bionicles were dope. Going out, it's almost 11.30 for me. No problem. Thanks for showing up, Caesar. Thanks for showing off your stuff, too. They were super cool. Spell break. I'm a wizard, Harry. Sorry, I'm changing the uh, to the stream and talk. Congrats, congrats on the affiliate. Thank you so much. It's all because of you guys. And no problem for the talk. I will see you on Tuesday, Caesar. Spellbreak, it is like a wizard. So, uh, what it is, is... Oh, it didn't save. Spellbreak. What it is, it's basically a battle royale but with wizards where you're a wizard instead of like using guns and stuff you don't like harry potter i'm okay with harry potter my fiance is giving you dirty looks from the other room right now she loves harry potter for her birthday this year i had to watch every single harry potter back to back to back see she said she'll fight you uh back to back to back which is not any way to watch it. I'd never seen the second, the last two Harry Potters, but it, boy, did I sure watch them that day. But, uh, <laughs> so over to Spellbreak. Spellbreak is a battle royale game, free on everything, by the way. If you want to play it free on Switch, I'm playing it on PlayStation right now. And it is Fortnite, but with wizards, yes. So you get, instead of guns, you get uh, gauntlets and you have one gauntlet each hand and you pick whatever gauntlet you want to start out with. Oops, there we go, fixed it. You pick whatever gauntlet you want to start out with uh, in, the, in the match. We'll go solos play so I can show you guys. So that's my guy, he's level two with a wind because I did the tutorial and I really like the wind stuff, Tempest. So you start with the one gauntlet that you pick. I pick Wind, which is Tempest. Um, yeah, kind of like Thanos. And you get a secondary gauntlet and you can combine those together. You can combine them together. So like I, I had a flame gauntlet in the last one and it turned into uh, like a fire tornado, which was cool as hell. And it's also the only, the only battle royale I've ever won. I played one match and I won one match. So we're gonna play again right now and see how it goes because I was like, man, I'm a Twitch streamer now. I should probably start Twitch streaming. So you don't drop in. What you do is you basically pick a portal of a place you wanna go to and then you drop in. So like, I'm gonna drop into Wayfarer's Crossing. I'm gonna teleport to Wayfarer's Crossing. And once I teleport, I can show you guys what it do. Like, see, all these other people probably dropped in the same place. So let's let's go off off a little bit. And these these portals, I don't know if you can see them on the map up in the top right. Those are like map mana portals, and what they do is like they give you really sweet loot. So like, I'm gonna drop to this one. Oh, somebody's already here though, as you can see, right there. I'm throwing tornadoes at this person. Or wind. Oh, they got wind too. I don't have a tornado yet, though. I gotta wait. Ugh. There we go. Got him. So when you beat them, you exile them, basically. See, they had a common wing gauntlet. Me, the problem is my armor's all gone now. So, open up this model vault. It takes like 20 seconds, I think, to open up. Should be opening. You're doing it and then you get like runes and stuff 
Hawk making a gaming channel. I try to play gaming just because it's Twitch, so it's like, eh, I probably should. See, it turns into something. You open it up, and you get this sweet loot. Legendary Frost Gauntlet. You get scrolls that'll power you up. And then, ooh, Legendary Wind Gauntlet. Sweet. So now I have two Legendary Gauntlets. Problem is I have no armor on. So I gotta go and find armor. Ooh, and you can levitate and stuff. Health potion. Good. There's a certain rune that you can get that lets you see your enemies more. And that's the one I, like, strive to get. So if anyone is into or not into Battle Royales, because honestly, I wasn't into Battle Royales. Then I played, like, one of this. Ooh, an epic chest. Then I played this, and I was like, this is really cool. I might play this a lot now. So the rune I have right now is Spring Step, and that just makes you jump really high. Like that. Whew. But you can also levitate if you just hold it. You hold the jump one. This is an invisibility rune. Actually, that other rune was epic, so I'll get that. Teleportation rune. There's all kinds of power-ups. But the gauntlets are like your main way of attacking. Rare amulet is how you get more mana. I should consume a little health potion just so I get my health back. Legendary frost gauntlet is a rare. Yeah, so when you drop into those mana... Uh, things those little portals that I showed you you get you get the rare stuff so like the frost gauntlet so you get the sweet ice lance that you can shoot off and it does it, when they're epic or they're rare they do more damage Ooh, somebody was over here I didn't even see him that uncommon stuff Oh, that's about to close in. I was like so confused. Oh no, this is the other side of it. Gotcha, so that's where I need to be. Cool. The good thing about this too, oh, somebody's shooting at me from somewhere. Oh, there they are. The other good thing about this is that, oh, shoot the tornado at him. Is that not a lot of people are on it, so the matches are smaller. They take less time, oops. Well, I got exiled. <laughs> they take less time. Um, yeah, there's also not a, lot of, not, not a lot of people on it. So if you're not great at battle royales like me, it's not, a, it's not a bad game to play. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. And you can be a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. F's in the chat. Rest in peace. But just like every important character in Kamen Rider, I always come back. Boom. Call me Philip. Or Ankh in a movie. Call me either one. That's fine. <laughs> I'll play one more round before we jump off because your boy is hungry. Doom, 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 doom. What you been up to all day, Solar Storm? Doom, 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 doom. Take off, toward a dream. Call me Izu, because I'm coming back. I don't know why I didn't do that last time. All right, let's drop into Gritfield. Not much. Yeah, it's been a pretty slow day. Besides the orange skies. Izu did lose her memories, but I lost all my gear, so it's kind of the same. Uh, somebody dropped next to me. That is also one thing I like this over Fortnite is when, when you drop, at least you ha already have a weapon. It's not a great weapon for sure, but at least it's a weapon. See, like this one, there's only 42 players in. In each, or in this match. The large chest will give you more stuff. Boots help you run. Ooh, epic lightning gauntlet. Hell yeah. Whoa. There's a person. That's a person. 
shoot them with lightning. Then you can combine them. Like that made a lightning tornado. This person has an earth gauntlet, which is weird. Like if you play this game, never choose the earth gauntlet because like I can just fly and they can't hit me. Oops. Or like if, even if they want to fly, they won't do anything. There we go. Got him. First exile. Yeah, the stone gauntlets are weird. I guess you can use them like if you're trying to. You might be the only one there here. My fiance might still be in here. Who knows? Scroll of the mind. Rare frost. Eh, I like the lightning one. We'll stick with that for now. Shoot. Yeah, nobody likes the video games. <laughs> Ooh, epic flight rune. I haven't used a flight rune yet. Sweet. But he states for the Toku talk. Nobody likes the video games. It's okay. I'm already affiliate. I don't need a. I don't need to meet a viewer quota. Let's try this flight rune. Boom! Sick. I don't know how to control that, but that was cool. What I need. Toxic gauntlet. What I need is um. Need health and armor. Boom, come fly away. Let's fly, fly, fly. There's a there's one called the wolf rune that helps you see people. Like it'll highlight them. That's the one I like. Uncommon fire gauntlet? No, I like this lightning gauntlet. Sorry. At least I'm running a little faster because I got these boots. I think right now, for the amount of people there are. Oh, there's some health. Sweet. For the amount of people there are, I think the maps are a little big on it. Wolf Room Fua's dungeon. Exactly. See, it all comes back to Fua because he was the main rider and Aruto was not. People just gotta accept it. Belt, rare amulet. Uncommon wind gauntlet, so that powers up my gauntlet. There's a storm closing in. There it is. Wolf Blood's rune. So, like, check it out. Once it. Give me five seconds to use it. Two, one. Ow! Oh, and then, if there's anyone around me, it'll highlight them red. But it does not look like there's anyone around me right now. I dropped in the wrong place for people. Spring step, teleportation, what are you, stone? S somebody has stone gauntlet. See, there's somebody right there. Then you just go at it. Whoa! So they're using Earth, so as long as I jump around, we'll be good. So, give them a little bit of that, and they are taken care of. But I definitely lost a lot of armor, so let me get my armor back. No, I don't want the flight rune, I want the scroll of the mind. I'll probably check if there's anyone around, just make sure. Arr. Nope, we good? We good. Cool. They had a lot of stuff. Shout out to them. For having all these epic belts and stuff. Is that Featherfall rune? I don't know what Featherfall does. Large armor shield. I can use that. Probably use it right now, actually. I think he just defeated a nine-year-old. I would not doubt that a lot of people around this are very young. Like I said, it's like Fortnite, but it is uh, a lot less, a lot less shooter than Fortnite. So if I was a parent, I'd definitely be like, yeah, you could play that, son, sure. All right, we're good. We got all our stuff. Let's go. Howl for me. See if there's anybody around. Nope. But see, there's only 15 people left in the game. The trick is that you really want to get to those mana portals. 
Because that's what gives you the epic gear. Or like the highest tier gear. Oh, the person scared me. Wolf. Oh, there's somebody over there. Over there. Oh, come on. Come on. Got him. Got him. Did I not lose any health or anything? Oh, a rare wind gauntlet. Sweet. He had a dope gauntlet. He had a wind and fire, so he totally could have used that, uh... That fire tornado if he wanted to. I, oh, I'm barely inside the storm. Where are people? Just gonna hang on the outside. Yeah, that's the only thing. I think the maps are a little too big. Go get this thing. Spawns legendary items. I don't see anybody around, so I should be safe. Unlimited power! Come on, hurry up. Then it makes a thing. It gives me legendary spirit. And epic amulet. And legendary lightning gauntlet. Heck yeah. The wind is my favorite, but the lightning is definitely right, right there next to it. Like, they're just so devastating when you combine them. And this has, like, squads, too. Um, I think the squad is three. Oops, I don't think the invisibility one. The squad is three people, and then it has duos. But duos are locked for right now. Because I think this counts as a beta. They're being cowards, for sure. I, oh, there's some people. Sweet. See, those are people fighting. Ooh, there's three people over there. All right, here we go. Oops. Now this is pod racing. Ooh, we're going at it. We're going at it. Oh, people are shooting me from the sides and from behind and stuff. I'm just trying to kill this dude. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Yep, they got me. Knew it. Dang, I was hoping I could, we could break off into two and two. But then that other dude just came racing after me. Whatever. Ninth place is fine. Still top ten. Still top 10, and I still won one. Whatever, I still did good. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sign off for the night because I'm hungry. And uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, Solar Storm. Thank you so much for everyone else in chat, anybody watching on the VOD afterwards. You guys have been fantastic. I had fun today. We should do this more often. Probably on Tuesday. Toku Tuesday nights. Every Tuesday night. Here, 7 p.m. we watch Kira Major, Common uh, Rider, Saber. I gotta get used to saying Common Rider Saber. Because that's the new one. And not Zero One anymore. F's in the chat for Zero One. Um, yeah, that's about it. If you haven't seen my new YouTube video, go to youtube.com slash Hawkillies. I have my review of The Rise of Ultraman. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.